Well, hello there. My name is Felipe Fernandes, and I'm here to present to you Painted Black. So PAB, as I'm going to call it, is a dark-themed ClickSense mashup template that is open source and serves as a framework for building reactive mashups running directly on your ClickSense server. Now, by default, PAB has a minimalistic UI. It consists of a header right here at the top, and there's also a sidebar here on the left. These sections load different pages containing different information. The first one right here is a home page. Well, in our case, it presents some information about the template, but the contents can be edited to fit your needs, like, uh, I don't know, including your company's logo, some guidance texts, or whatever else you think fits in a home page. Let's dive into the second page. It is titled Dashboard 1. Now, as you can see right here, I'm clearly not a dashboard builder but please excuse the layout as this is nothing but a framework. At the top right here, we have a bar chart and a pie chart right here. These charts were built using the eCharts charting library and the data comes directly from a ClickSense application that is running on my ClickSense server. In this case, I'm running ClickSense locally, so ClickSense desktop. And the data comes from the apps that's running on there. I can filter the dimensions directly on the eCharts by clicking on these buttons. So if we want to hide the actual amount or the budget, we can click on here. Or on the pie chart, we can click on the buttons as well, like this. If I hover over the data, I can also view some uh, details about it. The same goes for the pie chart. You can see I even added some hard-coded hard text. The big map right here is brought by the leaflet.js library, which delivers themed map tiles. It is interactive, so I can pan around, I can zoom in and out, and it can work alongside or click applications. It allows us to draw markers, you know, to draw pointers, polygons, and other cool stuff directly on top of the map. In our case, uh, I'm requesting these bo US state borders data from an external API, so that's why it takes a little a little while to, to handle it because the request is being processed and sent to us. You see? And the red dots right here are added manually because the ClickSense uh, applications that I'm using don't have this kind of data, but it does have sales per state data. So as you can see, uh, let's take for example uh, the California General Distribution Center. It says sales in the state 11.8 million. But if I can uh, select a different filter by going right here on the nav bar and changing my region to say something like central, and then I click on the icon again, you see it changed from 11.8 million to 5.5 million. So the data is updated even on an external map. Let's clear the filters. Finally, we have these two KPIs right here. The first one, at the top, has no connection to the ClickSense server whatsoever. It runs an external API request to an external resource that returns us the euro to dollar currency exchange rate in real time. It also brings us the daily percent variation, and it also marks with uh, a down arrow and in red when it's going down, and a green arrow uh, pointing up uh, when it's going up. The second KPI down here is actually just another simple KPI from ClickSense, but this one it comes from an entire different app. So Painted Black has out of the box enough code for you to let you play around and connect dozens of different apps at the same time. So basically the data that comes uh, from the, the pie chart, the bar chart, and even on those dots on the map are coming from one app, and the data that comes from this KPI comes from another entirely different application. So let's apply some filters on this second app to see this value change. We go up here, let's select uh, fire and theft for example, close it, and you can see the value changed automatically. Moving on, we have provided by default some other pages. There's dashboard 2, which is mostly blank, it's some placeholder text for you to replace. There's also this page. This page is quite curious. It's called Full Screen TV View. And once you click it, the navbar and the sidebar both disappear. And you can bring them back by pressing Ask at any time. 
So this is useful if you want to develop a page that is completely full screen, like this. There's also a docu documentation page with some placeholder text. There's also a settings page, also with some placeholder text. Developing mashups can be quite speedy using this framework, as there is enough coding here to start right away, you know, designing the architecture, which pages are going to be used, which apps will be used, etc. And I'd like to thank you for checking out Painted Black. You can check out the project on ClickGarden or on GitHub at github.com slash bigstechnologia slash paintedblack. Any discussions, ideas, or feedbacks can also be sent to me directly. There are links to the socials available on the project's GitHub page. Once again, thank you and be safe.